are going to learn about colonialism and the tribal societies. Okay, let's start with the basic introduction like where do they live and what are they called and so on. So let's start. The name given to the tribes live in India is Adivasis. Actually, they are hundred in numbers of group used to live in India. These tribal people had a different way of living so that the reason they cannot mingle with the other people. The research scholars who study about them are known as an anthropologist. But after the British rule, they got severely disrupted. So in this picture, you can see a tribal woman, how different they dress. So now let's move on to the tribal life during the British era. Until the British era, the tribal used to have the rights on the forest and its crops. However, finally, the wave of changes unlashed by the colonial rule. In that, the major change is introducing the land revenue system by British. Zamindaris started taking over the lands belonging to the Adivasis and they were forced to borrow money from them at a high interest rate. The tribal life was also affected by the contacts with outsiders, means the growth in the postal system and the railway system and telegraph system. The tribal reaction to the colonial rule was studied in three phases. The first phase, the second phase and the third phase. We are going to discuss about these phases in our next slides. So now we are going to learn about the first phase of Santal Pargana Rebellion 1855. And thus we are going to know the reasons the Santals inhabited the Santal Paragana in present days Jharkhand. They never want to settle permanently, but the rules affected them and even demanded to pay rent. Second reason is the local chiefs were have been evacuated. The third one is introducing the roads and the railway systems. Then the Santals decided to revolt against the Britishers. So the four brothers actually started this movement. They are Siddhu, Kanhu, Chan and Bhairav. On 30th June 1855, the great movement against the British was started. And on 7 July 1855, the British started sending police to capture this Sithu and Kanho and declare them as an anti people acting against them. So, during the course of the revolt, the tribals captured a large amount of land belonging to the British and they captured a large amount of money even and the British sent their armed forces to capture these uh, Santals and they massacred them however the movement did not gain a win. the government was forced to examine the reasons for the revolt but in that the solution is they had given an act for the Santals which is known as an Santals Paragana's Tenancy Act to protect the tribals. The Munda Rebellion, which lasted for five years from 1895 to 1900s. The Mundas were the tribes based in the Bihar region. They had an ancient system called Kuntakari where they enjoyed the customary rights. During that time, there were no landlords. They used to enjoy their freedom. But after the British system, there was a landlord system where Zamindaris used to collect the taxes from the tribes. The Mundas now became the tenants and the landlords were the Zamindaris and they were forced to pay the loans for their lands. The Munda started a rebellion which was led by Bishra Munda and he aimed to end the British rule and start the Munda rule. The Mundas even considered Bishra as a god representative he was believed to have a divine powers. The Munda uprising took in the Chota Nagpur region of Bihar. He told Mundas not to pay the rent to Britishers. The movement became violent and the official landlords and the missionaries were attacked with the bows and many tribes were arrested. Mr. Munda himself was captured. Here you can see the image of Mr. Munda, the great hero how he is motivating the tribes not to pay the rent to the British. And Bishramunda became the legend for the future generation. He represented the aspirations of the tribes and became the inspiration for the other rebellions. The 
following rebellion act was act finally generated by the britishers that is known as an chota nagpur finance act in 1908 and they want to know how these customaries are followed by the people in this areas now we are going to learn about the tribal uprising in the north here we are going to discuss about the three states that is assam meghalaya and manipur so now let's move on with assam the british has imposed abnormally land tax in assam like 72 to 70% 70%. so this led to the revolt against the britishers that is in the period of 1893 to 94 and the pestians fell to pay up the british seized their lands though they protested the british suppressed their protest ruthlessly now we are going to discuss about meghalaya <clears throat> in meghalaya the british granted the diwani to bengal bihar and odisha after the battle of baksar in 1764 the british want to build a road link between brahmaputra and sumra valley so this road actually was passing through the kashi hills therefore the tribal lived in the kashi hills were affected by this road so in 1860 the house tax it was imported by the britishers was further restrictment in 1860 they even also introduced the income tax this made a small cop revolt against the tribal uh, by the tribal people against the british the leader of the movement was yuking nongpa the british sever- the british sent several re- regiments to put down the tribals nongpa was captured and hanged publicly to strike the her- terror in the hearts of the people in 1872 british sent armed forces to establish their rule in the neighboring garwo hills the tribal residents of the garwo hills rose in the rebellion under the patwa sangma this was too ruthlessly put down here you can see in the india map where the revolts before 1857 now let's discuss about the revolts in the manipur when the king of the manipur died there was a war of succession between the two factions the main contenders were the king elder son suchendra and the step brother sikenderjit Suchendra sought with the aid with the Britishers and they declared a war against the Manipur in 1891. The Manipurs were under the Tikenjit fought bravely but they were defeated by the Britishers and Tikenjit was hanged by the Britishers. The Britishers period was sown a many revolts by the tribals who were struggled against the displacement for the traditional and the customs of the lifestyle. Several movements were also aimed to bring the social reform. After the independence, the government of India taken of several major steps to improve the tribal lifestyle.